you willing to put your family in this government system, which is different from the one you currently use? If you are not willing to put your family on the system, why should the rest of us? Nancy Pelosi, Harry Reid, and the rest of the people in Congress and the Senate, are they going to be willing to be on the same plan they're asking us to be on? Well, that's what this fellow wants to know. You cook it, you damn well better eat it. My next guest taking folks up on it. He is pushing to force members of Congress to sign up with a public health care plan. Top Democrats still want to create. Congressman John Fleming is not only a Republican from Louisiana, he's also a doctor. Um, so, Congress, you say if Congress is going to propose, they should take up, right? Well, absolutely, Neil. Uh, you know, I came to Washington for the first time in January uh, concerned about the arrogance and hypocrisy of Congress, and I found once I got there that I grossly underestimated the problem. Uh, this, uh, my, my resolution, House Resolution 615, simply says that if you vote for a public option, then you're willing to join it, because there's a carve-out, there's a waiver for Congress that says that we don't have to join it. And um, so far we have over 300,000 Americans who've signed a petition and the rapidity of which that's growing is actually increasing and we have 69 co-sponsors all republicans and i've reached out to all the democrats in the house and none have been willing to sign on well, the reason why they haven't signed on to it congressman is it goes against what henry waxman has said i think i've got the gist of this right sir that that's the beauty of what they're proposing you have the option of keeping what you have or going the public route and they would be exercising that, that, they, they, that their freedom, and that would be folks' freedom at home. You're not buying it. No, I, I really don't agree with that. Uh, if you understand, Neil, that today we have Medicare, which is a microcosm, if you will, of a single-payer system. It's heavily subsidized and supported by private insurance. As we enlarge that balloon, that Medicare single-payer balloon, it's going to begin to create a black hole and suck in uh, private insurance recipients. Uh, it, is, it may be it's estimated as much as 113 million Americans will be pulled off of that role and into the remaining single-payer system. So a lot of people who like what they have and want to keep it will not be able to do that because of the differential cost to businesses who must save costs in order to compete with one another. All right, so when they argue that that will never happen, you're saying it will happen. They say you don't have proof that that's going to happen. But the arguments notwithstanding, Doctor, I'd be curious, what is your own take on any kind of health care reform passing uh, this calendar year? Well, again, I came, Neil, to Washington wanting health care reform. All of my uh, Republican colleagues want health care reform, but we want common sense reform, not nonsense reform. Uh, the, there's a core 10 million Americans who desire to have uh, private insurance, who can't afford it for different reasons, pre-existing illness and so forth, or can't get it. And we really want to focus on where the needs are. Most Americans can get good health care and have good coverage. Uh, and so I, I would really have to say that totally destroying a very good system, the best health care system in the world, and remaking it into the image of Canada's system or the U.K., uh, which is very unhappy with their system, with long waits uh, and all sorts of difficulties with access to system rationing and so forth, yeah. I just think that's the thing to do. All right. We were just showing, as you were talking, Congressman, uh, a forum going on, a live forum going on, uh, in Senator McCaskill's neck of the woods here. She was the Democratic senator, as you probably were aware, uh, said that protesters do, in fact, have a, a legitimate beef and they're not being put up, uh, as, as Nancy Pelosi seemed to imply in a, in a column today. How much backlash is the speaker getting over that column? We get another chance to actually Well, the, there's a tremendous backlash, as you can see from these videos, of people who say, look, this is a litmus test. If this is something that is so great for us, and you're doing this for us, and you're willing to explode the budget to the tune of a trillion dollars over five, maybe ten years, then why don't you just sign up now and show us, make a good example of yourselves. And again, we've not seen one single. And we've also tried to pass the language in House Resolution 615 in the committees themselves. And the Democrats have okay. voted it down. Senator, uh, Congressman, thank you very much. Uh,